I'm not feeling good today, you guys, but I did say I was going to show you how to make the coleslaw and how to do the, um, prepare the actual buns for the pulled pork sandwiches. Just shredded some cabbage. Cut the middle part out here because it's nasty. So I cut it at an angle here. Then I sliced it. And I did some thin sliced onions. Put it in a bowl with my four seasonings I always use. But this time I added some sugar to balance it out. Added lemon juice, well, some lime or lemon juice. It helps to um, it helps to wilt the cabbage. Plus, it gives a little a little twinge to your salad, and, and it don't turn brown that quick. So, I added a little bit of that, probably a capful, and I just sprinkled it on and let it sit. Now, this is the pork. I took it out the crock pot, and I didn't want to warm it up in there because it took long. So I just put it on the casserole dish with some extra barbecue sauce on it and just threw it in the oven. So what I'm going to do is take it out the grease, out the barbecue sauce that is sitting in and put it in this bowl. And I'm going to shred it up with two forks. This is my cast iron top. Flat top. You can get this from Walmart for like $10, $15. I love it because you can make grilled cheese, more than one grilled cheese at a time on it. And with it being real cast iron... You don't have to do a whole lot to it. And the other side got the grate, the griddle grates on it, so when you want to do steak. Okay. You in a bowl? Now this is just how you shred. You pull it, basically, with two forks. You hold it with one and pull it with the other. Cheese got crunchy in the oven. Ugh. I have no strength in my own at all. So it's basically just shredding the meat. That's why it's called pork. pork. You just pull it apart. I am toasting. I am toasting the buns as I'm shredding the meat. So by the time they're nice and brown, I'll be done shredding. The coleslaw is already already ready, and I could just go ahead and top it. And this is the little, just want to toast it a little bit. So when we put the coleslaw and the sauce on there, it doesn't make your bread soggy and fall through like you're eating sloppy joes. So we get it nice and crunchy. That way it can hold the weight of the meat and the, and the slaw. So how I prep this is. I add my barbecue sauce to the bun. I had this cute little brush. It came with like a little mini spatula for a dollar at um, Dollar General or somewhere like that. Now, some people like it a lot uh, on both buns. It's on how you like your sandwiches. It's determined on how you're going to fix it. Now, I usually add a little more barbecue sauce. add more barbecue sauce to the actual meat that's been shredded so it doesn't it don't go dry once you put it on the bun I only use depending on what I'm cooking I only use one eye so this part stays hot this part stays cool so it, when I move it it'll stay warm but it doesn't it doesn't cook it so you take your meat And don't put a lot of meat on the bread because of the thickness of it. You just want enough on there to fill the bottom up. Because you're putting another 
you're putting something else on here, so you don't want it to be too, too big on this little bitty bun. So I have to add. I add the coleslaw. It's still crunchy, but not real, real crunchy. Now you add that to the top. Add a little extra barbecue sauce to that. And then, there you go. Short cook cooking pulled pork sandwiches. Any questions, leave them in the remarks. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Short Cute Cooking, where I will be uploading the majority of my videos. Hopefully I'll get a better one out and I'll get better at recording for you guys. Thank you for watching.